Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. And on this channel, I like to share my low carb recipes and tips on how I stay on track on this keto lifestyle. Not only have I experienced weight loss on this journey, but I have also experienced some amazing health benefits as well. You can watch some of my other videos that talk about that. But today is Cinco de Mayo and Mexican food has always been one of my favorite foods. There are a few foods that I've sadly had to give up because of this lifestyle but you don't have to give up all the foods and all the flavors. Today I'm going to be making chorizo egg cups. They're really easy to make. I like to make easy quick meals. If you watch some of my other videos you can see that I do like quick and easy meals. These egg cups are really nutritious and filling and you can throw them in your lunches. You can grab them for a quick snack. You can eat them for breakfast on your way out the door. They can be stored in the refrigerator. They can be stored in the freezer and you can just pop them in the microwave for just a couple of seconds and warm them up and you have a nice little treat. You can use the eggs as your base and you can also put different toppings in the egg cups as well. You don't have to do chorizo. You can do ham and cheese. You can do green peppers and onions. You can add bacon. You can add sausage. Whatever you want to add, you can add to these cups. And I have the oven right now preheated to 350 degrees. I have all of my ingredients here in front of me. I'm going to change the camera angle and show you how I make these right after this. So in this bowl I have 10 eggs. This is going to make 12 muffins or cups. So I'm going to add my seasonings to the egg mixture. You can use whatever spices you like. I have two different spices that I'm using today. And this is the first one. This is Redmond's Real Salt. It's smoked salt and it's hickory flavor. And I love this salt. It has a great taste to it. But you can use regular salt as well. And... So I'm going to be putting in a teaspoon of the Redmond salt. Then my next one is tagine. This has a great mixture of seasonings in it that have like a Mexican style flair to it. So I'm going to be adding a half a teaspoon of the tagine. Or a little more. And then I'm going to give this a little mix. I have here my muffin pan and I have it sprayed with cooking spray. You can use little paper cups if you like, but I found that when you use the little paper cups, it peels away a lot of the egg when you peel them off. So I like to just make them right in the pan. So I'm gonna take my mixture here and I'm gonna pour a little bit into each muffin tin. You just need to fill them about three quarters of the way because they do puff up when you cook them. And also we're gonna be adding toppings to these. Okay, you all, I am so bummed. I didn't realize that my battery died on my camera as I was filling the muffin tins. I am gonna go through real quick and tell you what I put in here. Um, so bummed about this, but I wanna go ahead and show you because these are delicious and I have to still share this recipe. After you put the scrambled egg mixture into the muffin cups, I fill them about three quarters cup full because you're gonna to add toppings and that's gonna make the egg mixture come up higher and then when you bake these, they also puff up a little more. So. The first thing that I added to the mixture was chorizo. I have cooked chorizo right here that I cooked on the stovetop, and I added one tablespoon of chorizo to each cup. Then the next thing I added was just a little bit of finely chopped onion into each muffin cup. And then on top of that, I added Mexican cheese, just a little sprinkle on top of each one. And then on top of that, I placed jalapeno and these are jalapenos from a jar so that is all that's in this recipe i'm going to link the recipe down below of all of the toppings that i use these lovely egg cups are going to be going into a preheated oven 350 degrees and i'm going to have them in there for about 15 minutes but every oven is different, so you're going to want to keep your eye on them and see how long they take in your oven. You're going to want them to be spongy, and when you push down on them, they spring back. And so I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven, and I will be right back and show you what they look like. My little egg cups, they look delicious. 
You can eat these just like this, or you can serve them with a little bit of salsa, a little bit of sour cream, maybe some avocado, and make a really yummy meal with it. You can store these in the refrigerator in an airtight container, and you can also freeze these. If you want them warm, you can just pop them in the microwave for about 15 seconds. This is a great low carb food to have when you're on the go or when you're having a busy morning. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite for you so you can see what the inside looks like. I need to remember not to take such a big bite. Look at all that yummy chorizo in there and it's so delicious. That concludes my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video even though I had a little technical difficulties, but the show must go on. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.